Did you find that prehistory mystery a little bit scary when it turned around and looked at you? I think most of you worked out what it was. It's a skull. But don't worry, I haven't been out chopping people's heads off. This is a copy, it's a plastic copy of a skull that was found in Israel. And it's, the, it's a copy of the skull of somebody who lived around a hundred thousand years ago. It's a man and they think he was somewhere between 30 and 40 years old when he died and his skull is a little bit unusual because if you look closely, if I can do this without his jaw falling off, don't want that, you can see here that the eyebrows are very very strong aren't they? much stronger than our eyebrows and his jaw is very strong as well it's a big sticky out sort of jaw isn't it but this is a modern human just like you and me but from a very long time ago the face of people's faces have changed in shape slightly over many thousands of years and he is a very early modern human and he was found at a place called Mount Carmel in Israel and he and a number of other humans had been buried there deliberately um, after they died. That tells us something quite important. It tells us that it mattered a lot to people. Even a hundred thousand years ago it mattered that people were properly buried and in among the places where they were buried in the holes in the ground they found one or two things including something like this, a piece of ochre. And ochre is like a red stone that can be scraped and you end up with that colour powder and ochre was used as paint. So we know that even a hundred thousand years ago the colour red meant something. Red ochre being buried with somebody it meant something to them and it's often in Stone Age graves they find that red ochre powder has been scattered in there as well. And he was also found with the jaw of a wild boar resting on him. So a hundred thousand years ago early modern humans looked after people after they died they made sure they were buried properly. And these were the very first people to start trying to move northwards out of Africa into the rest of the world. So a history mystery was a very, very old human skull. Clues about early humans have also been found in the United Kingdom, including some incredibly old footprints, some of the oldest footprints found in the world outside of Africa. The oldest complete skeleton that's been found in this country comes from Goff's Cave in Devon, and it was a skeleton of a man. And scientists have been able to look at the shape of the man's skull been able to look at the DNA that they found in his bones and those things together have helped them to reconstruct what they think he might have looked like and he lived around 9,000 years ago. In a minute you'll see a list of places in the United Kingdom where early, very early remains of human beings have been found. Maybe you might like to look a little bit more about those and find a bit more information.